Hey everybody, how is it going tonight? Matt here. Really quick, um, I lost my footage. I had this really cool video of me using my equipment and a Ouija board at a non-haunted location to see if my equipment worked. And I lost my footage. It happens. It happens quite a bit. But, you know, that's just part of it. Really quick, if you guys haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Turn your notifications on. Watch this video. Give it a like. It only takes a second. And unlike Facebook, views and likes mean everything here. And I'm just trying to make it, okay, guys? Now, really quick, a lot of you have been asking me about my history. How did you, did you get into doing this? Why do you do it? And tonight, since I lost my footage, I wanted to give you guys a good video. I just want to tell you my story. Let's just start at the beginning. I was born in Downing, California, 1973. Any Metallica fans out there? I was born in the same hospital as James Hatfield, the lead singer. But, um, enough with that. Um, I'm just proud of it. But how I became a paranormal investigator, it goes like this. We moved to Humansville when I was five. And when I first seen the house we moved in, if you guys watched the Alvin Adams 1903 barn we did, I lived in the house that is right there on the property, and that's where all this crazy ghost stuff started. We would see Alvin come down the stairs, because my bedroom was at the bottom of the stairs, and there's stairs, the bathroom, the rest of the house. And I remember watching him walk down the stairs, and at first, yeah, it scared the shit out of me. Imagine being a five-year-old kid seeing what you think is your father coming down the stairs and it's something that looks like um not solid but like i know you guys have seen film and held it up to the light that's what he looked like yeah it scared me never seen anything like that in my life oddly enough he went to use the bathroom and as he came out i was trying to yell i was trying to scream i guess and he heard me. He walked in my room going, shh, 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 patted me, pulled my blanket up, patted me again, and walked up the stairs. And it was oddly comforting. My mom went, she almost fell down the stairs one day in Pearly. She actually told my mom she had her and to relax and my mom said she felt somebody holding her head up and she fell down like 13 I think or more stairs going up to the second floor and if it wasn't for her holding her head that would have been the end of my mom we had experiences like ball lightning come through the house and something stopped my dad one time from walking through his ball lightning went through the house. I was never scared there. It was, yeah, it was scary at first, but it, you learned after a while they wasn't going to hurt you. And after you see a full body apparition walk in front of you, so detailed you can see the dress that this lady was wearing you kind of get used to it well flash forward to about five years ago me and katrina were at some friend's house and their house was extremely haunted um there was so much activity it was just unreal and I kind of felt the bug to do this again. So we'd go over and visit. And after a little bit, I'd, I'd walk off. I'd go upstairs, you know. It wasn't used. I'd walk upstairs with my cell phone thinking I was a ghost hunter doing all this stuff. And we had like maybe 50 people in the group. And what it basically was, was, was. It was just something to do for fun. I didn't think I would ever get this far, you know. 
Um, I had some crazy experiences. I got possessed for about a week. Had black circles under my eyes. No, my head didn't spin. I didn't spew out green stuff. No. Um, I had memories that weren't mine. I had thoughts that weren't mine. I could think to myself, but I could also hear the feel. I don't know how to explain it. The thoughts of somebody else. And it was quite an experience when I finally got this spirit out of me. It was over at this same friend's house, sitting at their table, and I came up just like this, just hands to my side like I was being picked up. My feet yay off the ground, and something came out of me, this black mass shadow, and... I collapsed down in my seat and started crying my eyes out. I'm a really emotional person. I hate saying that, but I am. I, I I can get teared up so easy, you know. And, I mean, just the thought of this is getting me right now. But, it was that second that I decided I was taking my group and I was going to do something. Here we are, over 500 members. I want to hit 200 subscribers on YouTube. I do this because I love it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am disabled. I have epilepsy. I have seizures a lot. If you guys saw the Green Spring video, you guys saw me have one. But that's about what life is. It's not bad, you know. And... I just wanted to do something for you guys. I wanted to go out there and start showing my town, showing stuff around me that was maybe haunted. Maybe there's something there. Maybe there's nothing there. Maybe it's just a cool spot I want to show it off. You know, that's why we do exploration videos. It's It just leaves us so wide open for everything. Um, We get questions. I get questions a lot. But before I get to that, I just want to tell you guys, I have been around paranormal stuff. The Adams house we lived in was haunted. The house I live in now, it's not. I used to live in the house at the Bolivar Mansion, and oh my god, that place was so freaking haunted. It was actually, I'm not going to lie, it's like the crap you see in movies. It Apparitions. There's a few things I saw there that... You know, I maybe shouldn't have. That I still remember clearly, but... I've always had this in me to do it. I've always had this desire to... Be the guy that is out there in the cemetery. In maybe a house, maybe a building. In the dark. And... It's just my passion. I, I love it. I... I really enjoy this type of stuff is what it boils down to. It's scary, it's fun, and it's entertaining. I don't want to bore you guys with a big, long video. So if you have any questions, just comment below or hit me up on Facebook. But you guys have asked some pretty good questions. So I know them. I got them wrote down. I got them wrote big so I can see them without my glasses. But... One of the questions is, is your house haunted? No, my house isn't haunted. The land my house is on, that's a different story. And that's probably going to be an episode one day. We have everything from Indians to Civil War history here. We have, Katrina and I have even heard Indians in the process of doing arrowheads in our, our uh fields before while he's camping so our house isn't haunted but our land is do you bring home attachments yes we do bring home attachments um like you see on a lot of tv shows you guys don't have permission to follow us we do that too does it work sometimes most of the time no 
Um, in my opinion, I get a lot of people telling me what I need to do. Well, I do what I feel like I need to do, and I go with my instinct. And there's times I say you can't follow us home, and there's other times I just pff, leave because I know it ain't going to do any good. So, yeah, we do get attachments. <clears throat> Another question is, <clears throat> excuse me, what do I do to get ready for an investigation? Music. I'm a huge metalhead. I love my music. I love music that makes me feel alive. Metal. I'm a music appreciator, though. I love all kinds of music. Listen to some um, Bach. I can listen to Bach and get tears in my eyes. You know, I'm not just a metalhead. I love it all, but music is my main passion hobbies i have besides ghost hunting well hobbies i have we have our dogs we have a turtle we have our lion head bunnies my main thing is i like taking care of them music is a big hop hobby of mine i do have guitar but i've got arthritis fingers so it's hard to play um and another thing is, do I get scared? Yeah, I do get scared. And when I get scared, I cuss, and I'm sorry. I, I throw a few F-bombs in our videos. I've had people actually say, can you please not cuss when you're on investigation? And I, I don't mean to sound rude, but that cracks me up because when you're in pitch black and you feel this or you feel something whispering here you're gonna drop some kind of bomb i don't care it is scary so i'm sorry that's real life y'all see what i see y'all feel what i feel y'all hear my i don't filter myself um one of the other questions is is what's my goal with this my goal is to just bring you guys good content. I'm not looking to be a millionaire off this. I'm not looking to get rich off this. I'm not looking to have a TV show. I'm not looking for none of that. I just want to do my thing. I want to bring you guys some good videos. Now, really quick. One of the things is, on the girls' investigation, are you looking for who did this? Or are you trying to bring justice to those who did this. No, I'm not an investigative reporter. I'm not a cop. I'm not... I'm not trying to bring justice to anybody. My goal with the Human Cell Murders is... I don't know. I hope it's just some whack thought, but I have a vision that them girls are laying there crying and their spirits are saying they're watching them confused and I just want to bring them a little security maybe help them get home you know that's that's what I'm doing I get comments I get messages telling me I'm going in the right direction with some of the stuff I do guys I'm not an investigative reporter and I'm just a guy making videos so don't get nervous or don't you know block me or don't do nothing because I'm not out to call anybody out that's not what I'm here to do okay one last question is do I sleep good at night after an investigation most of the time yes I sleep really super good other nights when we bring home attachments I feel them in the house I'm not psychic I feel stuff but it's just something that it's there. And yeah, it makes it hard to sleep. It makes it hard to get up and pee in the middle of the night when you got to do the dash to get back into bed because you just feel uncomfortable. But it's all good. Hopefully, I answered y'all's questions. Hopefully, you got a little more insight. I'm looking at probably 14 some minutes on this video and I don't want to bore you guys. Tomorrow, we got the abandoned house coming up next two weeks we have the um community building the furniture store investigation so guys stay tuned please subscribe please hit that like button please hit the notification so you know when we get a video much love thank you for watching this i hope i didn't bore you guys hopefully you 
feel like you know me better. I don't know. Just thank you guys for watching. Much love.